Welcome to Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services for Power Center Developers. In this session, we'll review users, user groups, roles, and permissions in IICS. In the administrator application, we can see on the left that we have users, user groups, and user roles. Let's start with users, the basic building block. A user is an individual IICS account that allows secure access to an organization. A user can perform tasks and access assets based on the roles that are assigned to the user. You can assign roles directly to the user or to a group. Note that you have the option to integrate with your third party identity provider. In a user group, all members can perform the same tasks and have the same access rights for different types of assets. Members of a group can perform tasks and access assets based on the roles assigned to the group. By opening the group, we can see the roles assigned to the group as well as the group members. A role is a collection of privileges that can be assigned to users and groups. In the default designer role, we can see that this role has fairly extensive privileges with the data integration service. However, it has fairly limited privileges when it comes to administration. Note that you can modify the privileges assigned to the default roles and create new custom roles to align with your specific needs. Once users, groups, and roles have been established, users and groups can be assigned permissions on specific assets. For example, Connections can have permissions to define, to define who can use, change, and delete those connections at both the user and group level. In the data integration service, you can assign privileges to projects, folders, as well as base level assets. By clicking on permissions, we can see who has access to a given project. In this project, no individual users have been granted access, only members of specific groups. By opening the project, we can see the individual folders in that project, and we can see who has permissions on those individual folders. For example, in this folder, we can see that only one user has privileges on this folder, and no permissions have been granted to other groups or users. Thank you for taking the time to watch this session on IICS user privileges and permissions, and we hope you'll watch the other videos in this series.